Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for I don't know how many minutes of Thunder Chief painting action baby. <laughs> okay guys, I'm putting on my dry transfers, or not my dry transfers, my paint mask. And uh, I got the wings done, stars and bars, oh, where are they? And the Polish glider, all that's going to be painted. My vertical stab is done. Oh, it's in the paint drying trailer. It's cool. Okay. It sent me some stickers, but I painted them on. Oh, yeah, it's all painted. White teeth, black snake. It's out there in the drying trailer right now. We'll show you tomorrow. Came out good. <laughs> But these paint mats are the, are the ball, man. You guys hear them kids screaming outside? Them dang neighbor kids out there till midnight. I can't believe their parents let them out there. There's a little boy, probably five or six, and his sister go out there and just scream bloody murder every night till midnight out there in the street playing. You know, kids are kids, but I never let my kids scream like that. You don't know if they're laying out there and dying. <laughs> you know, there comes to a point where everyone quits looking out the door when you hear a kid screaming bloody murder, and it, it shouldn't be the way it is. But what can I do about it? But yeah, it's 10.30 at night. No kids are out there. Every night to about midnight. Okay, what I did first is I taped this on there and then I let it set for a couple hours just to make sure kept looking at it. I got the plane jigged up level, kept looking at it, kept looking at it, move it a little bit. Until uh, I got it just how I want it, and you take a spreader. I love these paint masks. There's a couple places that do this in the United States. Uh, River City Graphics will do it. I've got about any sign company. Uh, the, the problem is the artwork, you know. Uh, having places that, like, all they got this, all the markings, you know, and that Taylor Craft. I'll put up a link to their website on this video. I might not do get that done until tomorrow. But uh, they got these planes and they'll do it, man. Bam, a little shipping from Germany. And these are nice graphics. The, the water slides come with a, a stuff that Put on them, bam. Right. Where the panel lines come through there, I like to take the old finger. Now, if you don't paint a seat under it, where the panel line is, we don't want that. to these masking, painting these things, keep your paint thin. Even yellow, your hard to color colors, miscoat them and build them up that way rather than trying to spread a wet coat on there. Alright? You do not want to build up your paint. 
You can paint these so thin that when you peel this off, you can barely feel that paint. And that's the trick right there. Of course, we know the first coat has got to be a mist coat. And let that tack up a minute. I've got this other side ready to go. And that's the key to them graphics right there. Spray that mist coat. What that does is that kind of seals them edges to keep paint from wicking inside. I know you all had that problem before. And I know you had this problem too when you're when you're uh got tape stuck to all your models. You notice why I don't worry about sticking tape to, the, to, my, to my paint? I know you guys have pulled off tape before and chucks of paint came out. You know what does that? Cheap primer. Spray bombs. Get away from them spray bomb primers. I know you guys have done that. Peeling tape off. And pop. Big old chunk of paint come off. Oh, that, bl that, that blows, man. <laughs> The big green ones. And uh, that's what does that cheap primer. Lacquer primer. You can get away from that lacquer primer too. That does it. Even in your uh, spray gun. I love these urethane primers they got out now, man. These high build urethane primers, they are the bomb. Where did mine? Now these are easy ones because they're just single color black. When you put the whole red, white, and blue thing on there, these ain't real easy to do. The thing is, you got to put the, the two or three layers on, you know, and each layer has to go exactly on top of the other one. You know? You guys get June bugs in Europe and big old beetle things that come out in June. Come out in June and
Bam! That's getting ready to get pretty. What's this? Bam! I'm going to let that paint set up. Bam! There we go, baby. That looks sweet. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now I'll, I'll sand that with my 600, my wore out 600. Just, just hit it. And uh, kind of knock the edges off. You'll be able, once that's cleared, won't even hardly ever be able to feel it. But I'm going to get this video loaded. And I'm going to keep on working tonight. And tomorrow, be ready for them stickers and uh, them water slides. Uh, Ollie, uh, he's, kind of, he's concerned about if, if this paint is too flat, it will make them stickers look foggy on the bottom side. But this is a satin sheen. This ain't real flat. You see how the sun's kind of shining off of it? Even after it's been wet sanded, it's kind of satin. My flat is super flat, and I would put that over the top. But I plan on doing this black, weathering it, uh, putting the stickers on, and then clearing it. I think we should be okay, but I can do just one. Let it dry, make sure it ain't going to fog on the bottom. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we'll try it. we got to get them all on there. There's a bunch of good ones. So, uh, But I'll do one and see how it looks. But I think we'll be fine. All this is super smooth. It's not even orange peeled. It is like flat. So I think we'll be fine. But we'll see you back in the shop. I'm going to get this Thunder Chief looking good, baby. We'll see you back in the shop.